everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Thursday Theorist. And before we get started, guess what this week is? The Outsider comes out in two days. I'm shooting this on a Sunday. It comes out in two, two days on a Tuesday. So I'm looking forward to it. You guys looking forward to it? I hope so. If you're here, you probably are. Leave all your excitement down there and doobly doo. But anyways, so yeah, this is something a friend of mine sent me. This is book page from, I guess, Books a Million. Maybe this is an ad for Books a Million. But today, we are talking about oh, this mammoth, mammoth mofo, 11-22-63, the book the king wrote about the assassination of JFK, kind of. Um, so the whole story, the premise uh, is, dude goes back in time, I always forget dude's name, what's his name, what's his name? Um, Jake Epping goes back in time. Uh, to try and stop the assassination of Stephen King, try to stop Lee Harvey Oswald from shooting the man during the parade in Dallas. Um, I love the beginning of this book, and I love the end of this book. I don't care too much for all this stuff in the middle that has to do with Sadie. I just don't care. Um, the, the, whole, the whole point for me, I, I don't think Stephen King writes believable or even affecting romance. Um, he never has for me. That, that's just my opinion. Then again, I don't like romance and the mushy wishy-washy reason for that is because there is no greater love story than the one that I am living. So, um, I, I don't need to read about other people's happiness in their relationships because I'm very happy in mine. Anywho, um, but this book is great in spots. Um, and those spots are, uh, one of the tie-ins to the Dark Tower is the pop-up of Richie and Bev, um, from the Losers Club, from It. Um, that was a substantial cameo, and I appreciated that a whole bunch. And, of course, because we run into those two, we visit Derry once again. That is enough to tie it into the Dark Tower universe, but there's a little bit more also. There's, uh, he brings up the theme that he touched upon, not touched upon, there's a, in fact, most of insomnia is about it. The colors coming off of people and the strings that the little bald doctors snip, um, is brought up again in this one. And this one puts it right on the path of the beam, um, for the stand, which is odd because in, let's see here, uh, I think, I think it's Wizard and Glass. But when the quartet ends up popping up, they're walking through a parking lot, um, and somebody notices a Takuro spirit, a car named a Takuro spirit, um, in Wizarding Glass. That car also, that type of car that doesn't actually exist in our reality, pops up in this one. So... Um, you have that also. So I'm wondering if what King is saying is maybe Jake screwing up time and everything. Maybe this was a point back in 63 when everything split off and maybe this is the same reality where the stand happens. I don't know. Anywho, um, but the King did, this is one of those books that cashes all the checks it writes at the beginning. I went into this book hoping that we would get the spoiler alert, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. I was hoping that we would get the ending that we got, which is seeing what the world, or seeing a fictional version, of course, because nobody knows, seeing that world where JFK hadn't been assassinated. And that one really, he really nailed that. Another, another, and that's probably my favorite part of the book, if I'm honest. Um, but one of the biggest problems with this book, other than the romance, and the reason why I always end up giving it three stars whenever I read it, is because, once again, we are stuck with the same old abusive husband, boyfriend, character, whatever you want to call him, Sadie's ex. King falls back on that so many times. I would say that almost every single one of his books has that character to some degree. Either that character is in the book as a main character, or King uses that as like a backstory for somebody who's strong. Um, and that's like, that's one of, one of his biggest fallbacks, and I don't care too much for that. Um, but 
other than that, the book is good, and I know it's a very unpopular opinion um, when people see me with my three-star review, but that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, um, did I miss anything? Would you like to add down there in the comments below anything that I might have missed? Did I leave anything out? Uh, did you like the book? Did you not, not like the book? Did you like the adaptation? Um, I, me and my wife have yet to finish it. Um, we might finish it one day, but I don't care too much for James Franco, and they changed some things in there that I didn't care for, so I never finished it. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Thursday Theorist Review, I'll talk to you guys later, Bye bye